Bears fans. I'm your host, Josh Dennis. Thanks for tuning into the Bears Own Podcast. I'm your host, Josh Dennison. Back at it again. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. I am bringing you the latest up-to-date Bears news. The topic for today is free agency, specifically for wide receivers. Not many good wide receivers available in the free agency. Just want to kind of give a look at a few of them that I think should be something that the Bears may want to target. If they don't go via the draft, but we definitely need some help with the wide receivers. We'll see what happens, how it all plays out in free agency. But as of right now, these are the ones that I have that I think the Bears should target. Number one, Jacoby Meyer, 6'2", 200 pounds from the Patriots. PFF gave him a grade in 2022 of 75.0. He had one drop on the season. Receiving touchdowns, four. He was tied 27th. Receptions, 58, tied 33. And targets, he had 78 targets, so good load of targets with uh, 723 yards, which is 34th. Um, This is prior to week 16. This would probably be the only wide receiver that I would really want for them to go after if they do. But just looking at it from free agency, I think Jacoby Myers should be the one that the Bears should try to get if... They're not trying to go via the draft. I think that's the one they should go for. Number two, McCole Hardman. He's 5'10", 187 pounds. PFF gave him a grade of 67.9. He is part of that Chiefs offense, high-flying, Patrick Patrick Mahomes flicking the wrist, getting into whoever, making everyone look good over there, right? PFF gave him a grade of 67.9 on the year, which is not that good. Two drops, receiving touchdowns, four uh, yards per reception, 11.9, and he had 292 yards. So McCall Hardman is kind of like a Brian Pringle. I don't think we need another Pringle. If we want Pringle, again, we'll just re-sign Pringle. I think the Bears probably re-sign one, if not two, of the wide receivers they have. So either St. Brown, um, Pringle, or uh, Nikhil Harry, I feel like we're going to re-sign at least one or two of those guys. They already know the system, so they're used to it. They already know what to expect. It's not like someone has to relearn the system or anything like that. Number three, I have Alan Lazard from Green Bay, six foot five, 227 pounds. He hit 86 targets this year, 35th ranked. Um, receptions, he had 51, which is 44th ranked. Receiving yards, he had 688, which is 41st. He had five touchdowns, which is 23rd ranked. Overall, 68.1. Not a great overall rating. He was supposed to be the number one for Green Bay, but then Watson, Christian Watson, really turned it on and became the star wide receiver over there. Uh, Romeo Dobbs is probably going to, increase his role next year we'll see what happens with Alan Lazard I don't know if they're going to sign him again I don't see the Bears signing Lazard after they have St. Brown I think that's kind of weird having St. Brown and Lazard after we just got St. Brown from them I just don't see it but these are just guys that I have available doesn't mean that I want them it's just some of the top talent that I'm seeing out there which isn't that good really free agency is kind of a crapshoot and um that's why i will go and getting claypool actually makes sense because of what's available in free agency not nothing (laughs) it's really not that good which makes me think they're gonna go in the draft with wide receiver probably get a free agent for offense or defensive line probably both after alan lazard i do have juju smith schuster He's having a pretty good year, actually, over there in Kansas City as well with McCole Hardman. Um, 71.8 overall grade, according to PFF. He's been targeted 92 times, which is ranked 31st. He has 74 receptions, which is 18th, and 877 receiving yards, which is 20th. And he's tied 40th with three touchdowns. Yeah, I mean, so Juju's been somewhat consistent over there in Kansas City, you know, when he gets the ball. He's kind of not the same player he was when he was on the Steelers. 
Also, I think that'd be kind of weird too. Claypool with Juju Smith again. I don't know. Out of all these wide receivers that I'm looking at here, I mean, the talent that I'm seeing in, in these available for free agent signings is just, it's not that good for wide receivers. So if they were to go for anybody, I would say Jacoby Myers. And then I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for these other ones. I'm just saying if they do, you know, these are the ones that I could really see them signing if they really, but I don't know. You let me know what you think. Comment down below. Let me know if you think the Bears should sign Jacoby Myers or if you think they should not sign any of these wide receivers or if there's one of these wide receivers that you like that you think the Bears should sign, you know, let me know. If there's a, another wide receiver out there you think the Bears should sign, you let me know as well. I'm going to do another video with some trade scenarios because we really need a number one on this team. We don't really need a number two or a number three. If we do get a number two, then either Mooney or Claypool would become our number one. So, all right. Well, that's going to do it for me. Uh, thanks for tuning into the Bear Zone podcast. As always, bear down, Bear Zone.